What's up, lovers? It's your girl, La Julia. And guess what? I kind of slipped up with some of my cruise essentials. Like, I was just so excited to get the video out that when I started packing and when I started getting feedback from you, you know who you are, I was like, oh, I left out a couple of things. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw in these other things that I need and stay tuned because I'm going to have an actual packing video. So like I got all this stuff out, but everything ain't coming with me. That I'm, that we're going to get the, from the essentials to the essentials. Yes, we shall. And then you get to pack with me. So if that's something you'd be interested in, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and then also that you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell. Cause I got lots of content coming up around this cruise and I'm blogging this whole experience. So join me on this journey. I really appreciate you guys. Love you the most. Remember, if you're not a lover, you are a hater. So come on and join the lovers. And let's get right into this video. First up on the list is these Lysol wipes. You might want to get some spray, but I feel like these are perfect because you can just put them in your bag, easily use them to wipe off surfaces, maybe even clean out your room when you get acclimated up in there, and anytime you feel necessary. I definitely recommend these. They fit in the bag, pack them and go. You don't even have to think twice about it. Next up, we have this gloss, but it's also a sun protector. I love it. Winnie Harlow sold me, but it has some great benefits like... um you know the uv protection but then also like stem cells which i never saw that um sea moss like all these good nutritious benefits i feel like your lips will feel supple and thankful and i want my lips to feel supple it costs a little more than i would like to spend i'm not gonna lie but overall i think it'd be worth it so just think about it and there's other options this is a more cheaper version um just be careful when you're drinking your drinks like i don't know how that works i don't want to be ingesting um any uv protection i don't need it inside my body so just be mindful of that but if you're gonna be out in the sun cutting it up keep it cute keep it protected because you know what everybody likes soft lips nobody likes crusty sunburnt lips not me Next, we have aloe vera gel. Speaking of sunburn, this is something that can help you like replenish that moisture that will be depleted if you do get sunburn, and also like neutralize it and just um, give you some alleviation from the symptoms of sunburn. So I'm black, and I didn't think I could get sunburn until I went to Hawaii, and I was definitely rotisserie. So I wish I had some of this, and I wish I knew now what I knew then. But I'm letting you know that it doesn't hurt to have some of this in your bag just in case you get sunburn, and maybe one of your friends might get sunburned and then you can just help them out with that but hopefully nobody gets sunburned at least for the first few days make sure you thick it in thick 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 on that protection more protection we have these uv sunglasses these have 400 protection so that's pretty good i don't know if you protect your eyes i really like the sun i'm a sun gazer don't bother me at all but i thought this would be a good option for some of you vampires out there okay you know who you are so you can use this to protect your eyes and do it in style it comes in so many beautiful colors and i was just like impressed with the simplistic retro style of it you can't go wrong goes with anything any color anywhere anytime and i feel like if you're gonna get a pair these are dope but if not these i'll tell you set your style better fit your face better whatever just a thought just throwing that out there next we have this this will be helpful if you have dirty clothes so if you go get dirty you can simply wash them in the sink if you have like um detergent packs so like instead of coming home with a whole bunch of laundry or instead of paying for laundry services if it's just a quick rinse or a quick clean out like maybe just to get the chlorine out of them under ruse or just to get the chlorine like a stain out or something it's something to have just a thought moving on maybe you heard about surge protected power outlets you need to have a non-surge protected power outlet so find one that is non-surge protected just because they don't want you blowing out the electricity in the cruise. They don't have the fuses like you have in your house. So they don't have time for that. So get you a non-surge protective power out outlet. I don't know if I posted the right one here. But I have the right ones in my cruise essentials link. And I will put it below. Because honestly the list is getting so long. That I have to just post the whole link. And that's exclusive. You have to have access to the link to view these items that are in my cruise essentials. And I put a little bit more every day. Every time I think of something or I see something. I add it to the list. So. This is part two because I ran out of like energy and, and enthusiasm in part one and I missed a couple of things. So here's a hand fan. You might benefit with one of these. The one that I have and I bought this one too, but I also have another one that you can plug your phone into. So it serves as a backup charger. So I like 
things that have like dual purposes so i feel like you get your money's worth more if you can get double the value out of an item so these are pretty handy they fold up really small and it'd be hot sometimes you might be waiting in a line who has time to be sweating and just secreting everywhere you know what i mean dna all over the place maybe get your hand in maybe and if you're one of the people that finds that you get really hot in your rooms then this is amazing you can have like a small desk fan that you can put there and it will cool the air what i like about this the most is that it doesn't have any blades so i'm like oh this is cool i've never used this i'm curious about it and i wanted to check it out so i'll be back later on with a review let you know how i like it but imagine a fan with no blades that means no dust accumulating blowing that back around into the, the air so that's good next we have these clips these clips are for towels that way like if you pin your towel if you put your towel down it won't fly away even though i heard there are new rules on cruises where you can't just hold a spot with your towel i never intended to do that but if i'm using it then i don't want to be losing it so this is a great um thing to have but also like if i have a fan like a umbrella i can use them to make a shade and or covering so this is a sand free blanket i've had several of these in the past oh is this like it no this is the sand free towel so it is microfiber and it dries really fast so if i'm out and about then i can just like let it air dry and i don't have to come back with a wet towel taking up a lot of space in my bag it is a huge space saver and more than anything i like that i also appreciate how many beautiful styles they come in you can find something that suits your personality or like you know your attire whatever works and let me know how that goes for you but i think you'll like them next we have what i thought i had before which is the sand free beach towel i got one that was extra 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 large and it came with a discount code so that was great and i put the link in of course in the cruise essentials list but um what i like about this is that you can put it down it doesn't take up like much space in your bag not like a traditional blanket it doesn't fly away like if you just brought your bed sheet you can it have, comes with pins so that you can like score it into the ground so that it's not going anywhere and they usually have pockets where you can put your phone and things like that but i don't recommend that but yeah this is a good one T ten dollars off means i only spent 16.99 plus tax and to me that's a steal of a deal moving on we have these hampers i personally will buy mine from the dollar tree for like 150 or 125 or whatever it is now then to buy them online but if you're out of time or you just don't have the means to travel or just don't want to because sometimes that's it for me then get you a hamper so that you can put your dirty clothes in there speaking of dirty i'm sorry that poop be stinking so if you have a roommate be kind to them and get you some poopery or something similar so that you're not funking up the place so that y'all can both coexist and they don't gotta leave the room but here's another tip pro tip go to the public restrooms if you gotta do it number two don't do it in the, bed, in the room the room's small anyway it's so keeping it cute keeping it clean we have some pure all hand sanitizers you can't go wrong with these throw a couple in your purse you don't know who's touching them tongs at the buffet or what they got going on so it will benefit you you can't bring your lysol wipes you can bring them but like you can't wipe come on just get you some hand sanitizer keeps your hands clean so when you processing the food and using your utensils you can feel secure and safe that you're not going to be you know intaking any pathogens or bacteria that can be harmful or potentially harmful so here's an alarm clock i hear that if you have an interior room which i do not thank god not on this cruise then you lose sight of all existence in the real world so you might want to have an alarm clock i also know that you might be traveling to different locations and the time zone might be off or different so cruise time is different from home time and just to make sure that you're on point even if you did download the app or you didn't get to download the app you might want to have an alarm clock so that you don't miss any important excursions activities festivities nativities whatever that you might want not want to miss okay and i like this one because it comes with a charger be careful because a lot of them did not this is a like a lamp that you can put on your desk i like it because it kind of looks like the fan i feel like if you had both of them you'd be like oh cute but if you have an interior room specifically then it might be dark in there but pay no mind to my phone is dying it's you that's usual for me and if it's dying i mean and if it's dark in there then you need some light or you could get the stick up lights that also like um are motion sensitive i see a lot of people won't know i don't want it to be just dark in it until i get there i want it to be well lit okay i want to be able to hit the switch and i can see what the hell going on and i can actually carry the light with me which feels better i'm a scary person you do you okay and speaking of doing you if you are going to do snorkeling or certain excursions it might benefit you to just purchase the gear ahead of time for like 20 or 30 bucks on amazon instead of renting it and risking getting like germs somebody mouth and nose then been in there why why would you do that it's not bowling shoes it is somebody's mouth and nose and eyeballs ear eyes and throats very sensitive pathways to your heart 
and your lungs and your inner, inner parts. Don't do it. Just get your own. They're not expensive. They don't take up a lot of space in your bag. And you can have them forever and ever and ever and ever. Trust me. That's what I would do. I'm not going to be doing it. But if I was, that's what I'd be doing. And you might want to get you some pop-out hangers. I hear that you can get more hangers if you request them. But some people like me, we don't got time to be requesting nothing. I want myself and I want myself. So if I can pop a couple in my bag. And this one right here comes with like 24. Then that, it means I'm going to be straight. And I can take them with me. And I'll keep them forever and ever. And they're super lightweight. And and I think that's that's awesome. So you do you, but if you know if you want to do me, that's what you can do. Do so. Some things that I forgot or like didn't think of. I feel like I might have to add them in a separate video. But if you can think of anything, add them in the comments below. I'm here to learn. I'm not. I'm not by any means claiming that I know everything or all the things. No. Thank you guys for sticking around all the way to the end. You're the best. Remember when I told this up? You do what? Obviously, you're new here. You throw this up, right? Because if you're not a lover, you're a hater. <laughs> My heart beats for you. Thank you, lovers. And thank you, haters, for sticking around all the way to the end. I hope by now that you have subscribed, you hit the notification bell, you gave this video a thumbs up, maybe you shared it, sent it to your other email. I don't know, but it really helps my channel out. <laughs> And I appreciate it. So until next time, we cruising, you know, we keeping it moving and we're gonna keep this joy and love in our heart. Share some joy and love with somebody in your life today. And say, oh, but before I go, Franklin says hi.